to my YouTube channel. As I promised, I would like to talk about my journey while taking coding camp last July until August. Even though some parts of my experience have been written down in Medium, my writing blog, but I think it would be fun to talk more about it and maybe it can guide you if you consider taking any coding camp in the future. Let's get started! Um, based on my experience, uh, coding camp can be defined like differently from one to another. For me, it's an intensive program, like mine is eight, was 8 weeks, where you can learn about the back end and front end, build something cool out of it, and learn that from the professionals how to use the developer tools, frameworks, or languages to build your real project in week 5 until 8. Basically, the first until my 4 weeks of the camp, I got introduced with the basic tools that I can use in my final project, like uh, Twilio, uh, Twilio API, like with API, and then like JavaScript as a language, Node.js. The camp that I took was specifically designed for developers want to learn more about several function or API, the one that I told you before. API is an uh, application programming interface. But uh, for the camp, it can be different uh, for other people. Uh, I heard others to coding camps to create the website or app, maybe, and they, don't, they maybe didn't touch a lot of APIs in their coding camp. Oh, of course no. You can be anyone who is probably beginner or maybe students or professionals interested in learning about the coding. I'm, I'm even not a real developer, but I'm more toward like a designer and also at the same time I'm a tech writer in one of the non-profit organizations in the US. I'm responsible for fixing or writing some documentation to bridge the gap between developers and the users. Also, I help to create the curriculum that can help coding beginners understanding how to follow along with the classes and instructors. question what made me decide to take a coding camp um let me think <laughs> maybe uh i would have to apply what i learned during the coding camp to my current role as a tech writer my goal is to contribute more to the organization in creating um, better documentation as we or you know as a developer, sometimes it's hard to understand the documentation from other resources. I, as a tech writer, think that this is such a challenge uh, for me to break those barriers. One more thing, I also want to build my own startup in the future, so having these several skills will help me to talk to developers uh, when building the app. For the students that are new to coding, I would suggest taking the basic of Git and GitHub. Also, it helps if you understand a little bit of programming logic. Based on my experience, since I'm still new to the API stuff, uh, the director of the camp asked me if I was interested to learn more about this, and I would get a seat in the camp if I would love to. 
However, I wouldn't get any mentors that can guide me throughout my coding camp journey. Um, but uh, I think I think I was lucky to get this chance, and I didn't have to go through the hassle of the application process. The camp that I joined was not charged at all or free. However, not all coding camps are free. You should check it out first before applying. Okay, this is a good question again. Do we need experience before applying? For me, I would say yes, even though like the requirements stated like no. I think you need prior experience at least in one or two programming languages. Like get used to it with the language. Uh, if you don't understand the logic behind the code, it will be so hard to understand the documentation especially. If the instructor like going a little bit faster when they are teaching, uh, like okay. <laughs> if you apply for a several coding camp or API, uh, I would suggest like learning a little bit about the Azure function or AWS. They have lots of resources on YouTube. You can check it out. The camp was structured based on weekly basis or like weekly assignment and the weekly assignment was broken down again to more sub or chapter for example week 1, step 1, uh, setting up the git repo then week 1, step 2, learn more about Azure um, I think like this camp provided you um, not so detailed of documentation because they wanted you, you to try figure out how to do it on your own and of course if you get stuck uh, in coding we know that Stack Overflow is our best friend Oh there was a lot like for the first week of the camp I wasn't sure if I could survive throughout the camp I thought that I could only finish the first or maybe second week and then I got bored. <laughs> I joined the live stream like the first week and it was fun but a lot of things that we need to learn. Yeah. During the first week we learned about how to use Git and GitHub, then how to get along with the bot. We use bot. Uh, that's such a bummer sometimes. Um, the bot checked our code if the code made any sense and if we pass, we can go to the next step. <laughs> then second week started, I was relieved to finally finish the first week of the game. I couldn't believe, wow, <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Even I posted my progress, like everyday progress on Twitter. Every time like, I accomplished something or ran some error on my code. During the second week, I felt, wow, I wasn't feel, feel behind. I, I was in a good place, not too fast, not too slow. I tried my best to help others as well during the first week. Uh, there were so many great questions on the platform. Uh, we use Piazza. That's basically the place where we can ask questions and help other students. In the third week, ah, oh, it was so annoying. Like I couldn't work at all due to the heat wave in Pacific Northwest, especially in my place. Uh, I live in Pacific Northwest. <laughs> That's why I decided like to wake up in the morning at 4 a.m. to finish the coding and debug the code. Of course, anyone asks why you need to code so early. Yeah, after 8 a.m., I couldn't stay in my working room. The temperature was getting higher. It was about like 100 Fahrenheit, degree, uh, degree Fahrenheit, or about like 37 degrees Celsius, which was crazy. My AC, e e my AC even couldn't help me cool down. Another another challenge was juggling with the school, of course. 
I took like three classes while at the same time joined the camp. It was so hard for me to manage my time, especially during the midterm. I had to sacrifice my time to focus more on school rather than the coding. Good thing was that like everyone in the camp, like I mean like instructors, gave me a chance to finish each chapter within a week of timeline. Sometimes I finish it until Sunday, like midnight, Sunday midnight. Oh my god. The last challenge was for sure the code debugging. There was a time when I tried to push my code to GitHub and the bot said there was an error on my code. However, I wasn't sure I could that. I thought to figure out by searching if others, uh, other students also had the same issue with me. If not, I asked the question at, uh, on Piazza. Uh, the platform that they provided for us to ask the questions. Then while waiting, like I tried to find my way, like my solution, maybe by googling, even asking the developer community, uh, in the hope they could give me the best answer. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, coding is fun if that works. <laughs> A fun experience uh, happened to me when I was like in the week five when I got paired with a mentor. Oh, we met for the first time and we shared a lot of things like a lot of our experience in coding and daily life. I was lucky to get to know her because I didn't only learn about the coding but I also got connected with the amazing person. <laughs> also, another fun experience that I had was attending the workshop or virtual event. I think the event, the event helped me to relax for a bit and also a chance for me to talk to other students, professionals, even the instructors. My project was so simple. It is about like having the mail reminder on your SMS and the user will reply with any ingredients they want and the system will generate a random recipe based on that. Um, however, I had some trouble not getting to the finish line due to the API that I worked with. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I submitted my call of proposal a little bit late, but I was glad that I got chosen to showcase my project in front of lots of professionals from different industries such as Microsoft. First thing first, if you are the first coder it is okay to feel imposter syndrome. You are not alone. I used to be the first time coder and I didn't know what to do. I took two computer science classes, but it was still not enough for me to start my own project. Good thing I was inspired to create the final project due to the coding camp that I took. Second thing, I wish I would have understood the API concept, I mean like basic of API concept and how to apply it. During my coding camp, I was totally blind to what and why I use API. I didn't understand the theory of the API until I took the camp. At least try to get some basic understanding of the camp that you would like to take and you will be fine. Third thing, I think it is more about the documentation. Uh, I was a beginner and documentation was such a barrier for me. Even though there was a mentor, but you cannot expect them to be there all the time to help you. 
it's best just to seek help from instructors if you have trouble understanding the documentation. 14. Use the short time of the mentoring session to get the major help. I mean with major help such as like debugging the code, you need others to guide you. But don't ask questions like what is coding or <laughs> maybe like what is API or maybe what is Twilio. You can find it on internet. Something that you can find on internet. Just do it. Don't ask the mentor. <laughs> Other students were lucky to get the mentor since start to finish. While in my case, I only got mentor from the five uh, the week 5 until week 8 of uh, final project building session. Next, don't feel discouraged if others move quickly than you. Uh, everyone has different path of journey, so just go with your learning style and don't move too slow or fast. You will get that. The last one, it's okay if you don't finish your project within short amount of time. At least you try it and if it doesn't work, it's okay. Coding takes time. You can even continue the project outside the camp. Yeah, feel free to view my presentation project in the link description below. Uh, I also include my GitHub link for everyone to learn about my journey. Thank you so much everyone for listening. Hope you enjoy my coding journey. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment. I would be happy to answer it. Bye for now.